Dakey, Chief of Police, Oskaloosa. Russ Van Renderham, Sheriff, Mahaska County. David Robinson, Mahaska County EMA 911 Administrator. Um, so we'd like you to each kind of just to give a, a, a brief overview of um, your experience with COVID-19 so far, um, any public messages that you'd like to share, things that you feel um, the public should know from your perspective. Um, and we can start with whoever would like to go first. Well, Emily, today, uh, if you check the sheriff's website or excuse me Facebook page effective noon today we'll be shutting the law enforcement center down for walk-in traffic um, all of the essential law enforcement services will continue uninterrupted there might be some non-essential law enforcement uh, services that might be temporarily interrupted um, as far as uh, the sheriff's office specifically um, we've made quite a few drastic changes at the jail, in the jail setting, um, you know, on the advice of the Ombudsman's office, on the advice of the, uh, the county's liability uh, attorney, um, on the advice of several other uh, sheriff's offices. Uh, for an example, one drastic change would be we've had to suspend all inmate visitation until further notice. Um, Office-wise, we anticipate continuing with these services as much as we can do electronically. There will be some in-person uh, contact, but it will be outside the law enforcement center. Thank you. As far as the police department, um, we are following the public health recommendations, so we're trying to keep our staff as healthy as possible. Um, what that means is we will provide all law enforcement services that we always have, but there may be some non-essential functions such as vehicle unlocks that we just aren't going to do anymore for the time being. Um, anything we can do to keep our employees safer and healthier is better for the community in general. So if there's anything we can do to limit things face-to-face -face and in-person contact, we're going to try and do that. Our dispatch center, which works for um, the emergency management, they are screening calls already and trying to divert some of those calls away from our people. But the point really comes down to if we can handle something through phone or email, we should be doing that in general. So it may seem a little impersonal, but in the long run, it's going to be safer for the entire community to do that. We don't want our officers coming into your house, and they might be carrying it, and now we introduce it to your family unknowingly. So it's safer for them and for our employees to do that. And I'll just point out with the 911, because my staff is screening um, calls, and it's not just our medical calls, when you call and you want an officer or one of our responders to come to your residence, we're going to screen those individuals because we want our officers to kind of have an idea of what they're walking into or our fire guys um, you know you don't think about the fire the house is on fire but they do carbon monoxide if your alarm is going off so we, we want to give them that information ahead of time so you know be patient I, I know it can seem frustrating at times you're getting asked all these questions when when it's a carbon monoxide detector um, but it's good for our responders to have a, an idea of what they're going into and quite honestly as emergency responders they don't get that benefit too often so a lot of times they're, they're running into what they don't know. So it's nice to give them a little bit of information if we can. Thank you all for those updates, and thank you for the services that you continue to provide our community. Um, and unless there are any further comments that you'd like to share? Emily, if I could, you know, I, I believe, I know we have all three read the governor's proclamation yesterday. I would encourage the public to do that. Um, I don't mind fielding calls on, on gatherings and so forth. But it, it, it's a little more in-depth than just restaurants and bars. Um, you know, if we're called upon on by Department of Public uh, Safety to help enforce them, we'll have to. Uh, in the Board of Supervisors meeting this morning, I spoke briefly about, uh, you know, we need to give the public more credit than we are. Uh, but I would encourage everybody to get online, read through her proclamation, read through the rules, just so they're familiar with it. Um, it, it Jamie touched on it earlier here, you know, we've got all the kids out of school. Uh, that doesn't do any good if we allow our kids to all go congregate at the skate park as a group of 25 or 30 of them, that type of thing. So I would encourage everyone to read the, the governor's outlines that she released yesterday. 